high-level visit by former U.S. President George W. Bush to George Compound Clinic in one of Osaka's densely populated compounds. The clinic serving 150,000 people is a beneficiary of the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief in Africa, PEFA initiative, and a cervical cancer program. About 70,000 women who have visited this clinic have benefited since the pilot project commenced. In view of its successes, Again, the U.S. government has increased investment to fight HIV, AIDS, and cancer to a tune of $3 million, as announced by U.S. Ambassador to Zambia, Max Torella. Red, Red Ribbon Partners for their vision, advocacy, and material support. At the clinic, President Bush, who launched the Pink Ribbon and Red Ribbon Campaign, a joint project on HIV, AIDS, breast and cervical cancer, said the main objective of investing in health is safeguarding human life. Cervical and Zambia's First Lady, Christine Kaseba, who is sad with the high levels of cervical cancer in the country, is pleased with the launch of the Pink Ribbon and Red Ribbon campaign. Some partners are in the delegation from the U.S. business community. Soon after his visit to George Compound, President Bush was hosted at State House for a luncheon by President Michael Sata, who is equally happy with the support the U.S. government is providing in fighting cancer and other maternal issues. We are more grateful for what they have brought to Zambia, how they care about us because uh, although we have a very generous budget, we can't mix all the things which we require, especially in maternal child health and uh, the disease which we have inherited from Europe to here because previously cancer for ladies was not in Africa. Later, the Bush family visited the UTH Cancer Diseases Hospital, where they toured the facility and interacted with some cancer survivors. About 400,000 Zambians have so far benefited from the PEPFA initiative, which President Bush initiated in an effort to reduce the HIV AIDS burden, as well as facilitate reduction in cancer infections in Africa.